my name is Rebecca Smith. Um, my job title is an engineer, a mechanical engineer, and my employer is Pure Ingenuity. My job title means that I can build and fabricate components of any size um, for any project. So my most recent certification and training comes from Loyalist College. Um, I took their manufacturing and mechanical engineering program. Amazing program if you want to get a taste of everything and be able to know where you want to stand in life. So my main activity right now is I do build small electrical components for train and airplane doors. And then when I'm not doing that, it's a little bit of TIG welding with stainless steel and aluminum. So we use a lot of math. Um, we are, a lot of our components are very precise. They have to be within a thousandth of an inch of whatever we're building. And it's really just a lot of hands-on building type stuff. So often at work, we do engage in problem solving. Um, some of our drawings come to us in hand drawings. Uh, they're not computer animated, so we have to make sure we've got the proper measurements and can actually read what our engineers are giving us. So my background, it helps in a lot of ways. Um, I've been very fortunate that um, because I do have an IEP, so um, when it comes to written and reading skills, I'm not very strong, but I'm uh, really hands-on, I'm very visual, and having these backgrounds to be able to build a component that's in front of me allows me to excel in those in everyday problems. So what I do when in concern with people and affecting their lives, it's quite a bit. Um, a lot of what my company does is conveyor belts or even food and liquid holding tanks. So. Um, Places like large food chains will go in and will create things for them that allow them to store the foods or items in a healthy, safety manner with the right codes. For me, it's the customers. Um, getting excited at work, being motivated is just seeing the end product of how happy it makes the customers, um, them getting exactly what they wanted and being able to create those things for them. I get to do something I love. I will never work a day in my life. I will always be fortunate enough to wake up and go to do a job that I love to do and never wish that I was doing something else. I did not expect this at all. I did expect to be in the trades. Um, as soon as I took my first shop class, I was hooked. It's, that's how it was. Um, being a welder and a machinist, definitely didn't see that coming. Um, couldn't, you know, I struggled with the automotive trade and it made me, you know, kind of rethink where I wanted to be and I got into welding and found out I was a natural born welder and have loved it ever since. So it's been quite the road to get here, quite a little bit of time and I'm still not done. I have, you know, a future plans of becoming a welding and machinist teacher in a few years, so. <laughs> there has been a few challenges. Um, so my challenges are mostly school related. Um, because I am so highly hands-on, when it comes to the academic side of things, I do struggle and I work very hard to make sure that I'm you know, at the top of the class with everybody else. Um, but it is a big struggle and because a lot of our trades do involve training, you know, you've got to make sure you're on top of that and that's my, probably my biggest challenge. I'm a very nature lover. I love to be outside. I love being outside with my dogs and just spending time with my family. So, um, and when I'm, you know, have the time, I'm usually creating stuff out of scrap metal. So that's also a nice little hobby of mine that also plays into my trades. No matter what they tell you, go for it. You can do anything you want to do. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, you can do it. It's your choice. If it is something you love, go for it. And if you love it, do it even more. Because like I said, you will never work a day in your life if you do something you love.